welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch, and tonight's episode is episode 48. We're going back again to World War II. And uh, actually, the, the next few episodes are going to be World War II. A lot to cover. And it's being brought to you by my good friend down in Florida, I believe is how you say it, Design Cake Studios. They're a small creative design company with big talent in graphic and web design. If you or your business need a look, or maybe just a new look, maybe you're getting bored with what you have, head on over to designcakestudios.com and uh, see what they can do for you. I know I've done it. Uh, I've said it a million times. I, I really I can't be any more genuine when I say that I cannot be any more happier with the logo that was done for me and my business cards. And uh, I always get compliments on both of them. And I know when you contact them that you're going to let them know that you heard about them here on the podcast because if you do that, you'll get a free consultation. Design Cake Studios, fresh thinking, made bold. And now, a tale of honor. John W. Minnick was born on the 14th of June, 1908, in Wall, Pennsylvania. John joined the U.S. Army in August of 1943 in Carlisle and deployed to Europe during World War II. By November of 1944, John was a staff sergeant in Company I, 121st Infantry Regiment, 8th Infantry Division, and on the 21st of November, he and his company were along the border between Germany and Belgium called the Hurtgen Forest. It was his actions here that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, He displayed conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his own life above and beyond the call of duty, in action involving actual conflict with the enemy on 21 November 1944 near Hurtgen, Germany. Staff Sergeant Minnick's battalion was halted in its advance by extensive minefields exposing troops to heavy concentrations of enemy artillery and mortar fire. Further delay in the advance would result in numerous casualties and a movement through the minefield was essential. Voluntarily, Staff Sergeant Minnick led four men through hazardous barbed wire and debris, finally making his way through the minefield for a distance of 300 yards. When an enemy machine gun opened fire, he signaled his men to take covered positions, edged his way along toward the flank of the weapon, and opened fire, killing two members of the gun crew and capturing three others. Moving forward again, he encountered and engaged single-handedly an entire company, killing 20 Germans and capturing 20, and enabling his platoon to capture the remainder of the hostile group. Again moving ahead and spearheading his battalion's advance, he again encountered machine gun fire. Crawling forward toward the weapon, he reached a point from which he knocked the weapon out of action. Still another minefield had to be crossed. Undeterred, Staff Sergeant Minnick advanced forward, alone, through constant enemy fire, while thus moving, detonated a mine and was instantly killed. John W. Minnick posthumously received the Medal of Honor and is buried at the Westminster Cemetery in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. If you like this podcast, be sure to leave a nice review and a good rating and tell a friend. You can see more information on Facebook and Instagram and at talesofhonorpodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments or are interested in supporting the show by being a partner, you can send those inquiries right to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.